Imagine for a moment you're going on a journey to a new destination. You pack your bags, grab your map, if you're anything like me, you pack a bunch of snacks, and head out. But as you're driving, you realize that your map is incomplete. It shows the final destination, but not the twists and turns of the way. Now imagine you're on a journey to beat cancer. The destination is clear, remission and recovery. You also have a general idea about how to get there, but what about the twists and turns? You may think, I will just follow the car ahead of me. But you see, cancer is not one disease. Specific tumor genes drive specific tumor behaviors. Uncovering this link between tumor genetics and tumor behavior is the basis for cancer research and the discovery of targeted drugs. For example, if we know some gene is making the tumor more aggressive, we can develop a targeted drug that blocks this pathway. Cancer research is limited by two aspects. One, data, and two, methods to analyze this data. Traditionally, cancer research relies on patient survival data, and it works quite well. However, by only looking at a limited set of time points, in this case, start and end of patient follow-up, we're missing a lot of information. Now, can you please raise your hand if you ever thought or heard someone say, this can be improved with big data? <laughs> I see many of you have. Well, buzzwords aside, this can be improved with big data. <laughs> and understanding how is the goal of my PhD project. What I mean when I say big data is just a lot of data, like what we have nowadays in electronic health records. Specifically, we can access information collected over time, revealing trends and dynamics that were previously hidden. So we have new data, and now we need new methods. I work with thousands of oncology patient records. This includes information about the drugs they received, the progression of their disease, and their response to treatment. I work to develop a method that utilizes this more complex data to better understand how genetics affects the disease. It's like updating our toolkit so we can unlock the power of modern data sets. I was excited to discover my method uncovers novel associations that were undetectable by traditional means. This is promising. It could lead to the discovery of new targeted drug, drugs and improve patient care. With each discovery, we add more and more details to the map until hopefully one day patients can simply pack their favorite snacks and drive safely to remission. Thank you.